welcome back to the point and click community for people with no to limited IT experience, people like me. Today I test a couple programs to secure, unlock my PC with a USB drive. And like we have not enough options in Windows to unlock our PCs, we add another one to it and the piece of hardware, our USB drive. I don't know how much sense it makes, but let's just test it out. In Windows, you have already the option to sign on with a physical security key, but why go out and buy one? Just let's use some free software and make our own one. The first program we download is Roho's Logon Key Free and the link to that URL will be in the description below. Now it does actually what we wanted to do. It uses a USB drive, flash drive or any memory card to log you in. So you don't have to remember the password. So the program is downloaded here in my downloads folder. It's an executable. I'm just going to right click and run as administrator. I don't know if it's necessary. I always install as administrator and it's straightforward thing. Just make sure you have a USB drive, flash drive plugged in. for setting up your authentication key. It's basically your Windows logon. Now let me reboot this machine and uh, leave the key in it and see if I can log on without typing my password. So now Windows is back up. I just click here in my password field and not typing anything. See? Yeah, it lets me in. It worked out for me. Well, I don't know how much use we get out of it, but that worked. Let's move on to the next one. So the next program we try is USB Raptor. Link in the description below. And let's get on with it, download it, install it, and see if it does the same or whatever it does. I have my flash drive in it, freshly formatted. Going to my downloads folder. This is a zip file, so I will unzip that. Extract all. You might want to extract it somewhere else. I just leave it right now in my downloads folder because I'm going to get rid of it anyhow. As soon as I'm done with this video. I agree here and there seems to be a password in it password is previously set as default I'm just gonna put test one in for the time being it says real easy three steps but I want to really take a look at the events configuration go in here I want it to start in the system tray and I want it to start armed. I'm not going to enable it right now I because I want to finish the configuration before I enable it. Uh, enable receiver, I take this out because it reports to this website and I'm not going to use this anyhow.
Now my flash drive is drive D here. So I create the key file. I'm enabling it. Then I minimize it to tray. Shows me it's armed. It is in the tray here. And let's begin. I remove that flash drive. And it locked the screen. So I have two options to unlock that screen. I can put the flash drive back in. So let's pull it out again. The next option to unlock it I have is double click anywhere on the screen and then enter the password what I put into the Raptor. That was test one. I hope it was test one. Yes. So it unlocked it also. But now it's unlocked and I don't have a flash drive in it. So now I put my flash drive back in and it tells me to arm the system. It's green again, tells me my flash drive is in it. So let us try to log off this computer here and then sign back in without supplying a Windows credential. It should work, but it might not because this is a Windows 11 and maybe this program has an issue with it, but it shouldn't. Yeah, that's, it's doing nothing. That thing is not going at all. So as soon I'm logged in, when I remove the key, it locks my machine. And I think it has something to do with it, how it starts the program. I maybe be able to run it as a service because now it starts up. So if it's not started up, how could it unlock my machine? So I maybe have to run it as a service. That means I have to create a Windows service so in conclusion, this is all unnecessary. If you have a highly complex password, there are other options what can you use straight out of Windows to log on to your system. It just adds another piece of hardware where you have to keep track of. And it's not working out for me. So I get rid of all of this. Big thank you to all my subscribers. If you're not a subscriber yet, please consider subscribing to my channel. Also give this video a thumbs up. And I hope you all have a great week.